Insect camouflage works. This is an example of an insect. It has grown and evolved to look like a leaf. So when it goes and it grow, walks around on other plants, it blends right in. Here in this picture, there's an example of a cat did, which that was, and it's on the plant, and it's located right in the center. I'm going to point to it so you can see it. It blends right into the plant. That's an excellent example of camouflage. For each kind of plant, there's different types of insects that have evolved to have camouflage on. So when you look at a field, the field may look like there's nothing in it, but that's the way camouflage works. You're not supposed to see it. So when you walk through fields next time, see if you can't spot any insects hiding. For each kind of plant, they look a little bit different. So, for this viburnum here, they'll have different insects than the plant before, which was a redwood. Although you may not see the insects, they are there. And you have to just take a good look at it to try to find it. This next plant is an arborvitae. And on the arborvitae, there is a praying mantis. It is fairly easy to see because it is a little bit different, but the colors do blend in. And that's what camouflage is used for. If you want some trees and plants, call Highland Hill Farm.